Now that Paris and the 2024 Olympic Games are in the rearview mirror, eyes are turning to the 2028 Summer Games, which will return to U.S. soil, Los Angeles to be exact. Jacob Sobaroff got a look ahead at how the city is preparing for the next Summer Games. With the end of the 2024 Paris Summer Olympics, Journey to America begins. A new countdown to the next Summer Games is already underway. In just four years, Los Angeles will once again take center stage as the host city of the 2028 Olympics. We've now flipped the switch from planning to delivery. It's been 40 years since LA last held that honor. Carl Lewis doing it. When Olympian Carl Lewis took home four gold medals right here at the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum. The biggest track and field stars from around the world will once again get the chance to compete in this storied venue, a feeling Lewis remembers well. That was a life-changing thing. You'll never be this big again in your whole life. You'll never have this chance again in your whole life. It's a venue that's over 100 years old. Casey Wasserman is the chairman of the LA 28 committee. He says turning the Coliseum, a venue from the 32 and 84 games where Rocket Man famously flew from a football field back into a track and field venue will be the most expensive investment of the games, but one he believes is worth it. To put a track back in means we have to spend about $150 million and the track will go 14 rows into the stands. That's how big the competition field is. Because we have to put that in, we'll actually have the warm-up track underneath the track. The Coliseum will be an important part of the opening ceremonies, but the torch will end its journey at SoFi Stadium, which will also serve as the Olympic swimming venue. We will be underwater, literally be underwater we, right here. We will definitely be underwater right where we are. It will be a swim stadium. It will be the biggest swim competition ever. Wasserman recruited Olympian Janet Evans to help bring the games to life. It's not lost on me that I am sitting with Janet Evans in what will be the world's largest swimming stadium. It's incredible to look around and see the facility, to see what our athletes will be experiencing. Um, it's going to be incredible. Putting on what will be the largest peacetime gathering in world history is no small undertaking. But there won't be any new venues built and no new permanent construction, a unique distinction. More than 80 existing venues across Southern California will hold Olympic events. Gymnastics will take place downtown at the Crypto.com Arena. And Riviera Country Club will host golf. Welcome to Into It Dome. It's LA's newest sports facility and the new home of the Los Angeles Clippers. Four years from now, it'll be home to Olympic basketball and almost 18,000 fans from around the world. Having the Olympics in the second largest city in the U.S. comes with its share of challenges, including the city's legendary traffic. Mayor Karen Bass says it's all part of the plan to make it manageable. The games are going to be car free, which means if you want to go to any of the venues, you're going to have to take public transportation. With all those involved, four years will go fast. As for Wasserman, he's excited to make a special impact on the youngest fans hopefully inspires kids to do lots of different things, sport being one of them. 